So we have seen how to create a text box using entry class. So now you will learn little bit more about the entry class. So for creation we need to write entry and dot let us say grid and row is equal to 0. Let us see the output first. See one text entry we have. We know how to store these values inside the variable that we will be seeing later. Now let us create one more entry and entry. Now we are using only one whether you have passed the object or not doesn't matter. Let us say grid and row is equal to one. Let us see now. So we have created two text entry boxes. So now let us assign to the variable. So always remember that let us say e1 is equal to and let us say entry 2 is equal to. This with result of this will be same as the previous like see the result will be same. But I always recommend when you are creating a object, always create a object to the class only. So now we are using the method also. So always write like this. So why it is useful, I will be showing you in the next video. So even you write, you call the method in the next line. But create the object of the class, only class. Why? Because there are other methods than the grid like there is a method called insert delete to use those method effectively first you create a object to the class only so this applies to the label button or anything so when you are writing this like uh, creating object always create like this now let us create a labels for the better readability so label let us say a comma text is equal to let us say first name first name dot grid this one we will be putting first that's why row is equal to zero and then label a comma text is equal to let us say last name dot grid row is equal to 1 so we are not creating any object to this class don't worry about that so here it should be row 0 but should be on the column 1 so after first name this text will be displayed and this one should be also on the column 1. Now let us see the output. See here first name, last name. Here first name doesn't have text because we have made some mistake like row 0 and column 1 row to column one. here we should have to write it a type of mistake now let us see see everything is fine let us add some more thing so let me copy this control c control v let us say e3 e3 e4 e4 this one we will be creating one more row 2 and row 3 
now let us create two more labels for that this one lost name let us create like say asking the user for the email two same thing and let us say ask country three now execute this so once you know according to that you can add as many fields as required so this is what we have added and we have seen once we entered like Peter let us say John and something underscore something dot com and Australia so once we entered we know how to store these variables values into the variables we have seen that in the past if you remember so hope you understood meet you in the next video with the another topic until then keep practicing